Hi, my name is Nick and welcome to this five minute video on the basics of administering an IV bolus of antibiotics. This is just a basic guide to give you an overview and you should always follow your local policies. The equipment needed for this procedure will be uh, the correct antibiotic, obviously, something to reconstitute the powdered antibiotic, usually water, two pairs of non-sterile gloves, cleaning wipes, a tray, two syringes, some needles along with an ampule of 0.9% saline for a flush, a sharp spin and some alcohol gel. Make sure you check all the expiry dates. Key parts that shouldn't be touched are being demonstrated on the screen now. Begin the procedure with your usual introductions to your patient, explaining what we'd like to do and why. Check that the patient has a cannula and that it's clean and usable. Safety is vital, so make sure you check that they have no allergies, both by asking the patient and checking on the prescription chart. Next, ensure you're administering the right drug to the right patient at the right time by checking the prescription against the patient's name band. Then check the drug to be administered against the prescription with another qualified healthcare professional in accordance with your local policy. Begin by putting on an apron and washing your hands with soap and water. Clean the surface you're going to use and the tray that you're going to place the equipment in. If either are visibly dirty, then use soap and water. Gather your equipment together and write out a label. Wash your hands after cleaning and collecting the equipment. Make sure that the key parts of the needles and syringes are protected by attaching them together before placing them in the tray. Open the wipes ready for use. Wash your hands and put on a pair of gloves. Draw up your flush. Change the needle at this point to avoid resheathing it. Remove the cap off the antibiotic and clean the top thoroughly using a wipe. Draw up your water to reconstitute the antibiotic. Using the same needle, inject about 5 ml into the antibiotic vial and then release the pressure by releasing the plunger and allowing the air out. Hold the syringe firmly in place and shake the vial until the antibiotic is dissolved. Turn the vial upside down and inject the air back in which puts the vial under a positive pressure. Bring your needle back so that it's only just in the vial and then release the plunger so that the syringe fills itself before aspirating back as you withdraw the needle. Change the needle at this point to avoid resheathing. Importantly, label your antibiotic syringe now so you know which is which. Wash your hands and put on gloves. Clean the port of the cannula for 30 seconds. Flush a few mils of saline through the port to check the patency of the cannula. Slowly bolus the antibiotic, observing the patient as you do. When you've finished administering the antibiotic, flush your cannula again. Dispose of all your waste appropriately. Then make sure you've signed for the drug that you've just administered. So that's it, the uh, basics of uh, bolusing an IV antibiotic uh, in uh, under five minutes. Uh, thank you very much for watching.